Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message. Whenever you find it, it is meant for you that I recorded on April 16th, 2024. I'll be using the Moonology Oracle cards by Yasmin Bolin. There's a front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I cut and shuffle my decks. We're just putting that box cover in the back there for you to focus on. All right, now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What is my also? Okay, that one wanted to flip over, so we're going to take it. All right. Ooh, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. The twins there and the moon, all right? Maybe you're a Gemini. Maybe you have Gemini placements. Maybe you know somebody that's a Gemini, okay? How does Gemini resonate with you, all right? And the full moon, okay? Was there something that you asked for? Did you make a wish on the last full moon, all right? Do you, were you asking for some type of information, some type of sign or synchronicity, some type of guidance, okay, on the last full moon? Because according to this, the answers you need are coming, right? Maybe you made a wish, some kind of wish upon a star, wish upon the moon, wish upon the full moon, okay? You'll know if that resonates with you because you'll remember that you asked, okay? You asked a question, and the answers are coming in. All right, interesting. Let's get into the booklet here and see what additional information uh, Yasmin wanted us to take from this card. Okay, so bear with me as I am trying to find it. Okay, here it is. Okay, the booklet message. Not my words, friends. Okay, this is the hard work of Yasmin Bolin. All right, these are her words, her intention for this card. Okay, anything additional that I add is merely coming from my own personal life experience as a human. May never resonate with you at all, and that is okay. All right, please take what resonates and leave the rest. Certainly, if anything additional would come through as a channeled information, channeled message, that is very specific only going to resonate with a few. You'll know if it's you. Okay, let's get into it. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. But remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. Just indiscretion, okay? And also, Spirit wants me to remind you that Maybe you heard the thunder in the back as this is a confirmation, all right? Spirit wants me to remind you that when you speak, it is spell work, all right? When you write, it is spell work as words and language are spelled, spelling, spell work, all right? Remember that, all right? Be careful what you want to manifest, all right? Be careful that what you are trying to attract into your life, what you are wishing on the moon about is something you indeed are ready to take on, all right? Because oftentimes we get so caught up in everything going a specific and certain perfect way that we forget that even if we do bring into fruition, attract into our life, do the hard work, to attract things into our life, to bring things into our life, that we tend to forget that what comes with that, all right? We focus on all the wonderful aspects of it, all the positive aspects of it. But again, we live in duality here on the planet. So there's also the negative aspect part of it that you might be overlooking, all right? So be careful what you wish for, all right? <clears throat> The answers you need may well come soon. 
The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved, okay? If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you are in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message, less least said, soonest mended. Absolutely. Sometimes people fight because they just want to be right, right? Give up the control of wanting to be right, right? Sometimes saying less is your superpower, okay? And just holding space for somebody else to express themselves with, without that need to feel like you have to interject, all right? Your opinions, your, your personal stance on something, your argument even, okay? It's okay to just sit back and allow somebody to express themselves to you without that need to say something that sounds smooth or, or, or be right or have the next best thing, okay? As a response, all right? And, and also, I lost my train of thought here. What did Spirit want in me to say something here? Maybe it will come back to me. It's, it's, it's escaping me at the moment, okay? Let's keep going. It'll come back, all right? It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words, all right? Again, the spelling, actually casting spells with what you say. Okay, the universe doesn't know the difference, right? So be careful, not only how you speak about yourself, but how you speak to others as well, right? Words have enormous power. As metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin put it, your word is your wand. Again, you're casting spells with those words. You create magic and your reality every time you express yourself. Okay, interesting. Attune to the moon. Have an important conversation, but stay calm, all right? Don't have the last word. This is, here it is. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Oftentimes, people, when having conversations of any kind, difficult, not difficult, but you're listening to somebody else, Oftentimes we listen just enough to respond, just enough to come up with a reply, all right? But instead, spirit wants you to step away from that approach, okay? Don't try to create this response, this reply. Instead, just listen. Authentically, listen. Okay, don't try to come up with any kind of rebuttal, any kind of response. Feel and listen deeply to what that other person is telling you, all right? Because you're going to catch so much more. You're going to catch how they're feeling. All right, those the reading between the lines, as they say, all right? They might be expressing something to you, but you are noticing the body language. You are noticing the things that aren't being said, okay? Because you're actually paying attention. You're not just listening to create a reply, right? You're actually paying attention to the conversation, to what's going on. You're actually holding space for the individual. And then from there, all right, after you've wholeheartedly listened, okay, after you've been attentive, all right, then you can create the reply in the moment, not a premeditated response, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Additional meanings for this card. Don't be superficial. That speaks for itself, doesn't it, right? Judging people based on what they look like, judging people based on what they have, material wealth and that, okay. Ask yourself, would you even be interested in having a relationship, a friendship or connection with this person if they didn't look the way they looked, if they didn't have the material possessions that they had, if they weren't wealthy, all right? Would you even have anything in common? Would you even have anything 
to talk about, to converse about, okay? Do you share similar values? Okay, interesting. You need to laugh off the situation and just move on, absolutely. Sometimes that's what the situation calls for. Don't take it personal, all right? People respond, well, really they react, okay? Sometimes respond if they've thought about it for a while, but typically when people have thought about things and formulated a response, they really think about how it, their feelings are affecting it, okay? So typically it's the reaction piece. People react to you based on how they feel inside. Don't take it personal, laugh it off, okay? Someone is trying to flirt with you, have you noticed? Okay, that is a very flattering energy. All right, when somebody's trying to flirt with you, <clears throat> trying to praise you, trying to build you up, okay? While that is all wonderful and you should accept that positive energy, Spirit wants me to alert you that some people, okay, do this because they're trying to gain control. They're trying to manipulate you, narcissism, all right? So I wanna, this is a warning here today. If you've recently met somebody that just seems head over heels about you, can't stop telling you how much they care about you, how much they love you, you do every single thing right, buttering you up, like almost too much, okay? Like you can't believe this. Be careful, be warned, all right? It could be, a narcissist setting you up, okay? Be careful of that. That's a, that's a direct warning for somebody, okay? Job applications have good prospects. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to even extend that even further, all right? Maybe you were wishing on the moon for that job, for that, you know, opportunity to come your way. Maybe you even created an opportunity for yourself and you'd like to see it be successful, okay? This is a confirmation that yes, indeed it is, all right? So keep doing the work, all right? The teaching, talk, talk, and more talk as the emotional full moon moves into the communicative sign of Gemini. It's too easy to say too much, so mind how you go if you pull this card. All right. This card can also indicate an enjoyable social event since the full moon in Gemini is a great time for socializing. This card also augurs well for any study you're either taking or considering. Absolutely. Maybe you need to, you know, learn some things. Maybe you're, you're you know, working on this new project, this new business, creating something and you're new to it, then there's a lot of moving parts to it and you have to educate yourself so that you're prepared for what it means to have this opportunity coming into your life into full fruition, that you are actually living, okay, living it because you are doing the work, you're educating yourself and you're showing up in the shoes of this opportunity or business or whatever you're trying to create here, okay? Show up as if, do the work as if, all right, continue the education as if, all right? And it is a confirmation, a yes, if you've made that wish upon the moon, okay, about this, you're looking for the answers. Well, the answer here today is yes, but you have to keep on keeping on, all right? Interesting. Beautiful message today, everyone. Take inspired action, all right, in whatever you're feeling called to do because you're only promised right now. This is your moment, okay? The present moment is the ever, is only ever moment that we are guaranteed, right? Tomorrow's not promised, okay? We don't know when we're transitioning. Every day we wake up alive is an absolute gift. Say thank you, God, or whatever it is for you. You get to decide what label you'd like to use, but wake up in gratitude and thankfulness every single day, okay? Work on that high vibratory state of positivity as often as possible. Live from there, okay? And keep doing the work to attract the life that you want, that you're being led to, that's really part of your mission, right? Because you've taken those lessons from the past and you've applied it moving forward. Continue to do so, 
remembering that to hold space for people during conversation. Don't try to just sit there and come up with a reply or a response that you think is going to make them prove to them that you are listening, make them feel like you are listening the whole time when you're actually missing things because you aren't fully listening. You aren't seeing those things, the reading between the lines. You aren't noticing the subtle differences, you know, using those soft skills to read the room. Okay, that's important in conversation. Okay, keep doing the work because things are coming your way. The things that you've been working on, it's a yes from the universe. So keep on keeping on. Thank you so much, every single one of you. I appreciate you. Thanks for being with me here. Thanks for your support. For the new ones, the new subscribers, you're welcome here. I appreciate you. May you find value in these videos, all right? Certainly share this video. Share this message if somebody needs to receive it, okay? Like, subscribe, leave the comments. I love the comments. I'm getting so many comments lately, and I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. Let me know what's going on with you because I care about you, all right? I care about who these messages are for, all right? Who is receiving this and how is it resonating with you? I'd like to know. So leave me a comment below. All right. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Remember to put the best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. Come back again and join me for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.